Hello everyone, it's your bro back uh, on the channel. And in today's video we're going to be talking about the summarizing the already created Jira issues by using the AI. So if you click on your issue, you will see this option right here. So if I click on summarize, it says in here that it's only visible to me. And now, what do I have in here? It says this ticket discusses the creation and configuration of swim lanes in Kanban board, specifically focusing on the expedite swim lane for, for high priority items. So as you can see, that indeed is correct. And also, it gives you the bullet points. It says the task involves creating custom swim lanes by editing the board's configuration. The ticket was moved from backlog to selected for development, so it also looks for that as well. It says that I am uh, the uh, creator and also in the assignee of the task, indicating a high priority level, which is which actually here is the highest, but this is actually part of the high priority level, so there are no mistakes in there as well. And now in here it says that this content right here may vary. So you have this sum summarization right here. So let's take a bug for example. Now if we actually summarize it, so here it says it's working. So this ticket discusses the priori prioritization and racking of work items in the engineering Kanban project. So it says the issue identified as a bug is a, about the functionality of dragging cards to adjust their priority order. So this is actually pretty great because imagine if um, if you're actually the developer and yes you have you have some user stories that are actually being break down by using the acceptance criteria on basically how everything needs to work step by step. But you also want to have this summarized, so you want to be, so you want to be focused, and you want to be, you know, ha uh, have the uh, bigger picture, if I can say it like that. But then again, to actually have everything summarized in one place. So in here it says that I have created a ticket and also provided a comment on the transition from the backlog to select the firm development. And as we can see, it indeed, it indeed is like that. Currently, the tickets, kit, ticket is in the backlog status with the medium priority indicating pending action described functionality. So that that is also interesting. So if you go here, well, let's say in the, in the progress, okay, I'm eager to see what the AI will actually do tell us about this issue. So this ticket titled like this is currently in progress and focuses on addressing delays by setting work in progress limits. And we have key takeaways. So it says that it was created by me and signed to the same indicating self managed task within the engineering campaign project. That is correct. It has transitioned from the backlog to select and development and then in progress over a span of approximately seven days. So this is actually pretty nice because in here it tells you um, when uh, it tells you like the flow of how how much of a time this issue was actually well in this specific uh, in this specific status. So this ticket is categorized as a bug with a medium priority, emphasizing the need to address the work in progress limits to mitigate delays in the project workflow. This is actually pretty interesting as well. So now if we go for done, for example, let's see what is it going to say for the uh, done issues. All right. So this ticket discusses the improvement an average resolution time as teams evolve Kanban highlighted through the control chart in reports. The issue transition from the backlog to done within approximately six days, showcasing a reduction in cycle time. 
that's actually pretty interesting because in here now uh not only tells you what happened it also tells you the result of of this time spent in the uh, status progress through the stages backlog to selected for development in four days then in progress in two days and finally to done in one day oh this is even even more interesting because it gives you the breakdown of how much days it actually spent on each and every status so it also demonstrates Kanban, Kanban's effectiveness in the streamlining workflow and reducing resolution time as observed in the control chart this is actually pretty pretty interesting so uh, I would really recommend to use this summarize option for your created issues because it gives you much more insight and some really interesting data that would be really really useful to you alright guys that is everything for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video bye bye